This is Dr. Joe Pat Hatem, Mayor of the City of Southport. I would like to give you an update on the COVID-19 pandemic. As I stated last time, we can immunize our way out of this pandemic. The number of daily cases in the United States have dropped dramatically. In January, there were over 250,000 new cases reported per day to now 64,000 new cases reported per day. In North Carolina in January, there were 5,000 new cases per day, and now there were recently 1,200 new cases reported per day. This is significant progress. In the United States, 77 million doses of the vaccine have been administered, and 96 million doses have been delivered. 10% of the U.S. population have been fully immunized. In North Carolina, 2.4 million vaccine doses have been administered, and in Brunswick County, 28,600 first doses have been given, and 15,334 citizens in our county completed the two immunization series. This is encouraging, but there's still much work to be done. Even though the numbers are decreasing, there is over the last few days a plateau a leveling off in terms of the number of new cases and the total number of new cases are still too many. We must continue public health mitigation measures while we continue to be vaccinated. What we must achieve is herd immunity, where at least 70% or more of our population has been either vaccinated or have protective antibodies from being infected with the coronavirus, which provides short-term immunity. The good news, vaccines are becoming more widely available, including the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine that was approved February 27, 2021, and which provides 100% protection against serious illness, hospitalization, and death. All of the vaccines, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, are effective against the coronavirus and the mutant strains such as the UKB117 and the South African strain that have been detected and are much more transmissible. Johnson & Johnson has shipped out 4 million doses of the one-shot vaccine and 16 million doses should be available by the end of March. It is estimated that 100 million doses will be available by the end of May or early June. Again, now is not the time for states to ease the restrictions on public health measures that have proven to help slow down the spread of the disease and have helped to protect our population from COVID-19. It takes time to ramp up a global vaccination program against a novel virus pandemic. I am proud of the resolve and the patience of our citizens have shown in navigating their way in obtaining immunizations and appreciate the cooperative efforts of the Brunswick County Health Department, Novant Health, Dozier Memorial Hospital, our local elected officials, mayors, and county commissioners in assisting our citizens in obtaining immunizations. As vaccines have become more available, the group eligibility has changed and more of our citizens are now eligible for the vaccine. Group one, healthcare workers and long-term care residents and staff the lives, careers, medicine as they knew it for our healthcare workers has changed dramatically as they have been facing the coronavirus in person for over a year. Some losing their lives in caring for others. The stress has at times been overwhelming and I salute all who have worked the front line, the doctors, nurses, staff, and our EMS teams who have been exposed nonstop to this potentially deadly and debilitating disease. Group two, older adults beginning at age 65. The percent of those who have died in North Carolina, 83% are 65 years of age and older. This is also a national tr trend. And when you include age 50 and, over, and older, 96% of the deaths have occurred in this age group. Southport is and continues to be an at-risk population. Group three, frontline essential workers is now active and eligible for vaccination. This includes teachers, police officers, firefighters, 
food and industrial workers, from manufacturing to restaurant workers and grocery store employees. U.S. postal workers, child care, transportation, social and public health workers, and others. Group four, adults at high risk for exposure and increased risk of severe disease. Vaccinations begin March 24th. And group five, everyone else not included in the previous four groups and who are younger and do not have underlying medical comorbidities. The goal is to have vaccines available for every adult by the end of May and for all vaccines to be administered as soon as logistically possible. To obtain a vaccine, go to brunswickcountync.gov slash vaccine. The blue box on the top right. Schedule a COVID-19 vaccine appointment here. Click on this and it will take you to Welcome to Novant Health COVID-19 Vaccine Pre-Registration. This should be an easy access to obtain your appointment. There also is the private sector, Walgreens.com, to obtain immunizations, as many of our citizens have done. We are now under Executive Order 195, and some restrictions have been lifted per Governor Cooper. In terms of occupational restrictions, there is 30% capacity and 50% capacity. There is now a 30% capacity for bars and movie theaters not to exceed a 250-person limit. 50% capacity in restaurants, gyms, museums, such as our Maritime Museum, aquariums, retailers, salons, personal care parlors. And for indoor arenas with 5,000 seats or more, 15% capacity, exempting the 250-person limit. I am not saying you should go to the ACC tournament, only that seating and tickets are now available. The 9 p.m. curfew has been lifted and alcohol sales are available until 11 p.m., which is good for the locals, the tourist industry, and the restaurants and bars here in Southport. The COVID-19 pandemic is not over. It is improving. There have been 28 million cases reported in the United States and over a half million deaths. Daily reported cases have declined, but we are seeing a plateau, a leveling off. We cannot pull back now. Wear your mask, watch and wait, physical distancing at least six feet, and wash your hands. Sign up for your vaccine. Protect yourself, protect your family, protect your friends, and protect your community. Take your best shot. Get your COVID-19 vaccine. And by doing so, and by continuing the public health measures I have recommended, we will recover from this pandemic and you will be among some of the heroes who have helped to save lives. Stay well, stay safe, and stay Southport strong.